Well, I want to wish everyone a happy Friday, yeah, TGIF. Um, done with our work weeks, some of us. And um, beautiful to be here in Yellow Springs at Mindfully Well Center. And pretty nice day today. I think it's nice even when it's rainy, but um, it's nice to see the sun after a few days of rain. And so I've been enjoying the day today. I've been working all day, but uh, just came straight here from the Amazon warehouse in West Jefferson, East, uh, West Columbus. And um, I wanted to speak a little bit about the new moon, which is um, kind of our theme today. And we've done a lot of uh, themes about new beginnings. Uh, we had a uh, New Year's session, you know, you do New Year's resolutions. Um, let's see, last time was kind of like the beginning of spring. We were talking about spring renewal. And now we're getting pretty close to summer, but it's a new moon, which is another time when you have a new beginning. It's the end of the previous cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. So um, a lot of times, you know, traditionally this is a good time to plant crops because seeds will grow, uh, which includes also seeds like your ideas, projects that you might be starting. You know, maybe if I know people who are starting like diets or starting um, meditation and yoga, um, you know, what we call a daily sadhana, where you're going to do the same thing every day for 40 days. Um, so whatever intentions you might have, whatever you might be working on in your life, this is a good time to start a new beginning. And I um, wanted to just kind of mention, you know, we'll, we'll be talking about a bunch of different things. Um, and, you know, if something resonates with you, then you can just say, okay, maybe now is the time I want to start uh, practicing that, um, on a, say, every day or, say, on a weekly basis. Um, you know, setting little goals for yourself, and that's how you make your intentions really manifest. Um, and so I'll, I'll mention also from my own experience, um, you know, sometimes we do a lot of singing, and, you know, I... I play a lot of music and I love to sing and that's part of why I love kundalini yoga because there's so much mantra and um, musical meditations, what we call like kirtan. Um, and previously, uh, let's say when I was a, a child growing up, I did not like to sing. I didn't think it was cool to sing. You know, we had the... Uh, the choice between choir and band, and so of course I chose band. I had, I had to be in choir at first in like fourth grade, fifth grade, and I was like, I don't like to sing, like I don't like my voice, or it's not cool to sing these songs, you know. I wanted to listen to heavy metal and um, just wasn't into uh, that vibration, you know. Um, and I started singing in high school um, just with friends of mine or girls that I was dating where I felt comfortable singing with them and kind of expressing in that way um, emotion and passion and love songs and things. And, um, but I, I had a lot of stage fright. Like I was be terrified to sing in front of uh, people or even to speak in front of people. I had a lot of fear and anxiety and like sort of depressive feelings a lot. Um, and I got over all of that. I was, I was terrified to be in front of people, but then I started doing workshops uh, for work or for classes and um, teaching yoga really got me over those fears too, to where I, I love to sing. And actually my name, Sada Nam, Sada means always or eternal and Nam refers to the sacred names, um, sound vibrations. So it means and then Singh is the last name that men get, which means a lion. So it's the lion of God who loves um, always continuously remembering, repeating, chanting the holy names. So I just, just so you kind of know 
where I'm coming from, the journey that I've been through, uh, from being super scared and not liking to sing to loving it and doing it in front of people like every day. Um, the, this, the meditation that we're going to do today involves vocalizing. It's not usually referred to as singing, um, you know, because you're not trying to perform, you know, we won't even be able to hear each other, but just so you can open up that throat chakra and not be afraid of your voice. They say your voice is the most powerful sound for your own transformation. You know, your, your voice is like your essence of who you are. So if you don't like your voice, you know, it's an opportunity to listen to yourself and kind of love yourself in that way. Uh, there was an anthropologist who went to South America and, you know, they all, all the tribal people sing in the jungles and, and he said, I can't sing. And they were like confused, like, that doesn't make any sense. You can speak, which means you have a voice, which means you can sing. Because, you know, we kind of compare ourselves to like, American Idol, you know, we're like, oh, I can't sing because I can't sing like the media that I listen to, that we compare ourselves to. But anyone that has a voice can sing. And, and of course, chanting is not singing. It's not speaking. It's not singing. It's uh, vocalizing, vibrating. It's meditating on the vibration of your voice. So if you can harmonize, um, it'll sound nice, it'll feel nice. And if you can't hit a note, doesn't matter. Um, but it sounds like this sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 rang har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 rang and we'll we'll get into that more in a little bit of course first we have our preparatory breathing and tuning in mantra so if you're ready to begin, you just find your tall seated posture. You can, oh, it's okay. Um, but you can prop up your sitting bones if you like to sit on a little blanket or pillow. And we'll just kind of lift up the spine up tall and roll the shoulders up and back a few times. Just loosening those collarbones and loosening any tension any stress from the shoulders. And then just let your shoulders relax down your back, turning your palms face up on your knees. That lets the shoulders relax, just an open, receptive posture. Just breathe in here. Allowing your belly to naturally expand with your inhales. As you deepen the breath a little bit, you fill up the belly and then up into the heart and upper lungs. And I'll also invite you to try a little ujjayi breath. So as you breathe, it sounds like this. Like you were fogging up a mirror, like, but through your nose, like. On the inhale and the exhale, feels like a sigh. Which we know that we sigh to relieve stress. So it's ujjayi, meaning ocean or victory breath. Helps to relieve stress, it uh, brings friction activation to the vagus nerve, which runs through your throat, your heart, and your organs. As you breathe here, I want to introduce some affirmations which you can do mentally. So this comes from Thich Nhat Hanh, a Vietnamese Buddhist master teacher. And it's the mental affirmation when you inhale, my mind is at peace. When you exhale, my heart is at peace. So you let the breath out, a slow inhale, my mind is at peace. As you exhale, 
my heart is at peace. Inhaling, my mind is at peace. Exhale, my heart is at peace. A few more times on your own. just feeling what that feels like to give that message to the, the body, the mind, the heart, choosing the vibration of peace within you. And now we're going to switch up the affirmation. As you inhale, we'll be vibrating in the mind. I am prosperous and healed. And as you exhale, I am so grateful. So inhale, I am prosperous and healed. Exhale, and I am so grateful. A few more. Inhaling, I am prosperous and healed. Exhaling, I am so grateful. Notice with these affirmations, it's not an intention for the future. It's not, I want to be one day healed and prosperous and peaceful. It's, I am this right here and now. It brings it into the present moment so you can feel it and create it within yourself. Now we'll tune in for our meditation. We'll bring the palms together. You start to build up a little energy circulation, awaken yourself a bit. And coming to stillness, thumbs at the breastbone. Now we'll inhale through the nose and sigh it out your mouth. And twice more like that, in through the nose, sigh all the breath out. And once more. And we tune in before every Kundalini meditation with the mantra, Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. This is tuning in to your highest self, your vibration of creation within everything in the universe. Sometimes people ask me like, who are we, you know, who are we chanting to? Well, for one, yourself, and for two, the universe. And actually those are one, and we are the universe. So it's your higher self, which contains everything else. Om Namo Gurudev Namo Om is the vibration of the universe, Namo, to honor that. Gurudev, the great celestial wisdom within you, within all things, Namo, honoring that. So we'll do three times, Ong Namo, Gurudev Namo. We'll inhale to begin. Ong Namo, Gurudev. Oh. 
as you exhale, let the palms go facing up. Just relax and feel what you feel. So the meditation that we're about to do, normally I play music that kind of leads us, but YouTube will catch us if we use copyrighted music and it'll take the, it'll put ads on it or take the music out or something. So we're going to do it a cappella. Let's just do a little bit of gentle uh, stretching before we do that. Let's get those shoulders up and down your back and then draw your, sh your chin down towards your chest and start to roll to the right, up and back. Exhaling down through the chest, inhaling up and around. Keep the shoulders down, face and jaw loose. Just a few more big circles. Just heard my neck crack. Chest will reverse to the left, inhaling up and down, exhaling down to the left. It's one of my favorite stretches, our neck rolls. You can do every day, and I've been recommending for years to do this every day, and that was confirmed by a chiropractor who specializes in upper cervical spine, the neck, in the teacher training, Dr. Yogi. He said, doing this every day prevents and relieves arthritis in the neck. Also opens your capillaries between your heart, your brain, your thyroid, throat chakra for our communication. Start to walk the left hand out beside you, floating the right arm up into a side bend to your left. A few breaths here. circle that top arm, exhaling it down and inhaling it up. Big circles to loosen up your whole shoulder. Inhaling up and around, exhaling down and around. Start to circle the top arm, exhaling down, inhaling up. Both arms 
and stretch. Exhale, relax. I'm at this point in my yogic career, <laughs> my yogic journey, maybe I'll say, after uh, 13 years since I started practicing regularly, I'm comfortable um, sitting for hours at a time, but if your legs are cramping up, you can stretch them out straight with the hands behind for support and just shake those legs out. Loosen all the leg muscles. Just getting ourselves loosened up and prepared for meditation, which was the original purpose of the asanas, which is one eighth one out of the eight-fold path of yoga, of the Yoga Sutras as described by Patanjali. A lot of times people think of yoga as just the physical postures or physical postures and breathing, maybe meditation, but there's eight, eight aspects. Asana is one. And so the, the asanas was just to loosen the body, energize the body, to be healthy so a person could sit and meditate, which is several of the, uh, the eightfold path of the Yoga Sutras. So now if your legs are loosened up, you can tuck them back into easy pose, what we call our cross-legged posture. <clears throat> and we'll begin our meditation. So I, I mentioned this uh, mantra a little bit. Sa re sa sa three times. Sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa sa. And on the uh, after that third time, you say sa rang. If I were saying this with an English accent, it would sound like sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 rang. But I'm rolling the R the tongue rolls off the roof of the mouth, um, which if you're not um, familiar with rolling your R's, it's like a soft D sound. Sa, de, sa, 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 re, sa, 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 re, sa, 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 rang. And that R-A-N-G is like you were swallowing the sound. So sa means infinity. Sa, re, sa, sa, like you're sending that out and we do this with the mudra. From a, it's like a prayer hands coming from your navel, rising up. When it comes past to your heart, you start to bloom open. So your fingers opening, open lotus mudra. The thumbs and pinkies are together. As you come up over your head, sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 rang. You don't have to be like all the way up here, but just above the crown of your head for sarang. In the second part, the fingertips start to come together. It's had, h a r, harare hara hara harare hara hara harare hara hara hararang. The same pattern as you bring the reverse prayer hands, like the backs of your hands, down back down to the navel. It's a beautiful meditation. Uh, I know we haven't done this yet in any of the five sessions we've done here. There's thousands of meditations. But this is called Antarnad, Antarnad Kriya, and it's often associated with the full moon. <laughs> so of course I thought we'll do it today on the new moon, <laughs> as far from the full moon as you can get. But from, according to my teachers, um, it doesn't have to be on the full moon, and Yogi Bhajan didn't even necessarily say that it was a full moon meditation. Somewhere along the lines, people said, this is the full moon meditation, but new moon is actually very similar to full moon. Full moon is the highest energy, you know, the most light of the sun reflecting. We sometimes feel like anxious and high emotions. And the new moon is the opposite. It's the yang to that yin. It's the lowest energy time. And, um, but like I said, it's a great time for new beginnings. And that's what this meditation is for. It's for offering up your intentions and then receiving back. And you're tracing the path of the Kundalini from the navel, like up the spine and that lotus blossoms 
Sare sa sa sare sa sa sare sa sa sarang Hare re hare 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 re hare 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 re hare 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 re And uh, we'll begin in a moment um, That's just, you know, you'll, you'll catch on after you do it a few times and you hear us uh, You hear me doing it But um, I also wanted to read this on the subject of the new moon um, Someone sent me this, oh this is from Aliana Angelica. She said, prepare for your shadows to be highlighted. You will find the strength to go deep within to release attachments and codependency tendencies where you rely on other people to provide for you, whether it be financial and emotional stability or to validate you, your choices, lifestyle, gifts, or talents. It's time to rebuild your life, a fresh start, without outside influences. The first few steps may be difficult and you may feel lost, but once you get to truly know yourself, become a friend to yourself, your inner light will shine and the dark path before you will be illuminated, bringing the clarity you need. So take this time to go within and focus on yourself. The darkness of this new moon serves as a giant cocoon for transformation. Something that my teacher, um, I did 200 hours with Yogi Amandeep in the Himalayas, uh, northern India in Leh Ladakh. And he said, in order for a seed to grow, it has to be in darkness. You plant the seed under the ground, it's in darkness, and then it cracks, and then it grows, and then it rises up into the sunshine. And so if you're going through darkness, which a lot of us are, you know, kind of worldwide right now, um, it's preparing you to crack and then grow. <laughs> Another analogy that I really like is um, the archer pulling back the bowstring, because I'm Sagittarius, so I like because I'm the archer. We do this archer pose, these warrior poses. So it's pulling back the bowstring creates this tension that allows it to propel forward. So when we get into that darkness, into that tension in our lives and difficulty, it's getting ready to break, to crack, and show, shoot us forward like the arrow. So, you, you remember the meditation? So that's a little segue. But the prayer hands from the navel, sare sa sa sare sa sa sare sa 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 and then reverse, hara de hara 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 de hara 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 re hara 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 rang. This looks like har re har har, but you don't say har re har. We say hara re had had, and that's kind of the manifesting force. Like you're bringing that back down. You're offering your intention, your prayers up, and then receiving back, manifesting into your life. Okay, starting at the navel. Inhale. Sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 rang. Har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 rang. Sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 rang. Har re har 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 re. Har re har ha 
har re har 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 ram sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re blooming lotus sa ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram receiving sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram sa re sa 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 re sa sa lift up your intention sa ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram you are that sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram a few more times sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram one more time sa re sa 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 re sa 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 re sa 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 ram har re har 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 re har 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 re har 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 ram to the heart inhale and hold Exhale, and one more time. Inhale, hold this breath, hold your intentions, manifesting that, realizing that. And as you exhale, release and relax and breathe. Now it's time to take your meditation down to your back to relax in shavasana. You can feel free to use any blankets or pillows you have nearby. Make yourself comfortable, especially if you have sensitive knees. A little padding under the back of your knees is good, or under your head. You can cover up with a blanket if you like. down to your back then you want to roll the shoulder blades underneath your body that'll keep the shoulders relaxed and let your eyes roll back in your head it's especially helpful to keep your face relaxed because that will relax your mind when your mind tenses up with concentration or agitation and the face scrunches up, 
When you relax the face, you relax the mind. Just let the jaw go slack. Usually palms face up and just let the feet flop open. So taking a little scan of your body and keeping every little muscle relaxed from head to toe, every finger, every toe, even the belly the breath, everything relaxed. I'll be providing you with some musical sound healing to take you on a little sound journey. And at this point, it's like there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. There's no wrong way to enjoy your sound bath. I would encourage you to try to keep the body relaxed and still as much as possible just so you can uh, get your greatest relaxation, rejuvenation, and healing. But if you want to meditate on your breath or on the sounds you're hearing, you can kind of make this your own. Maybe you want to keep focusing on your intentions and bringing those into your mind and letting these sounds kind of amplify those intentions. I'd like to begin with a mantra and a musical accompaniment um, from Sanatam Kar. This is a, another beautiful mantra called the Mool Mantra. Ekkong kar satnam karta purak nirpo nirver kal mur ajuni sebhang guru prasad jap ad sat sugad sat hebi sat nanak hose bi sat. This is a mantra which clears depression, negativity, clears your fate, aligns you with your destiny, brings prosperity. It means we're all united, creator and creation as one. That is our true identity, the doer of all things, that vibration of the universe. No fear, no negativity, no revenge. Image of the infinite, undying, infinite truth that's been with us from the beginning, here and now, forever true. Thank you. 
You can continue to relax, but we're going to start to come back, start to come back to your breath, just deepening the breath, and bringing a little bit of energy back into your body. Turn to your intention. The more you can seed that into your subconscious, the more it will become your natural state of mind and being your life. You breathe in your intention, you are that. Prosperous and healed, joyful, peaceful healthy, whatever you've been feeling you're lacking lately, affirm there is no lack, you are that. Take a couple little twists. So if you stretch out overhead, just take a full body stretch. Inhale, then side up. And for your twist, if you draw your right knee towards your chest, and you draw it down towards the floor on your left, what we call a cat stretch. Just a brief little twist, emptying the breath. And then starting to come back to center. For the other side, draw the left knee in, give it a little squeeze, and then draw it down to your right. And empty the breath to make room to get a little deeper into your twist. And then come back to center, drawing both knees in. If you circle the knees, it will massage your low back. And then you reverse your circles. You can rock and roll forwards and back a few times. Just massaging and working your way eventually to your seat. We do our closing long time sun song. This is, oops, this is how every Kundalini Yoga class in the world ends. It's, you may be familiar, I think, um, some of you have taken Kundalini Yoga classes or similar uh, events like this with me, but um, this is how every Kundalini Yoga class in the world ends. It comes from a Celtic blessing. So it's, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, and the pure light within you guide your way on. We do it three times. First time, dedicating it to yourself. So that's cultivating your self-love. It's like you're singing for healing and guidance for yourself. The second time, you send it out to a person or a place in the world who needs it. So. We've been sending our prayers and intentions to anyone who's ill or anyone who's fighting the disease, the healthcare workers, and just to anyone um, in particular who you know, and then the last time to all beings. So we draw the palms together. We're drawing that rubbing just to awaken yourself a little bit. And then coming to your heart. We do three times, may the long time sun shine upon you, all love surround you, pure light within you guide your way.
repeat this to you one last time so that you can remember it and you can live it. Prepare for your shadows to be highlighted. You will find the strength to go deep within to release attachments and codependency tendencies where you rely on other people to provide for you, whether it be financial or emotional stability, or to validate your choices, lifestyle, gifts, or talents. It's time to rebuild your life, a fresh start without outside influences. The first few steps may be difficult and you may feel lost, but once you get to truly know yourself, become a friend to yourself, your inner light will shine and the dark path before you will be illuminated, bringing the clarity you need. So take this time to go within and focus on yourself. The darkness of this new moon serves as a giant cocoon for your transformation. So hopefully you got some time in our meditations and in your relaxation to reflect. You know, when you have an intention, like I said, it's from a perceived lack. So you say, maybe I don't feel like I have enough of this in my life, in myself. And then you set the intention to gather more. You do the affirmation, I am that, to seed the subconscious. And you set the intention that you will, say, have some realistic, uh, achievable goal. Not necessarily easy. We always are all about our good, healthy challenges in Kundalini tradition. Physical challenges, uh, challenging the mind with meditations, with lifestyle practices like cold showering and daily disciplines. Um, so I encourage you once again to uh, find that, that goal, that discipline, and to stick to it. Uh, oftentimes, I, would, I compare this to like a diet. Um, a lot of times there's things about our bodies that we want to uh, change. And of course, the first step is acceptance is loving yourself as you are because you can't transform into what you want to be by focusing on negativity on um, what you feel you're not by focusing on the health and the perfection that you do have then from there you can see to your intentions you can develop into whatever it is that you want to um, improve upon so it's kind of a paradox it's from perfect improving to greater perfection. Because everything's always changing, the universe is expanding, therefore we are as we're supposed to be, everything is in fact, but as everything changes and expands, we change and expand with it. That's how we can go from perfect to greater perfection. So I'll leave you with that. And um, if anyone wants to share any questions or anything, we'll, we'll open up uh, your mics.